Good morning. Um, our lecture today is entitled Sequences. Okay, so we'll start with sequences and then move to series in our final lecture. Okay, so a sequence. Let me just uh, write the definition. So just put that. So a uh, sequence is actually just uh, an an ending. any succession of numbers and uh, these are called terms so we have terms of the sequence okay so we can have the set of a sequence of natural numbers uh, you know, these are in that form and it goes on a sequence of odd numbers and it goes on a sequence of prime numbers okay so we now have um, we have this as a mathematical definition and we say that uh, a sequence is just denoted by a n okay so in this in this sequence uh, the n we can say that uh, n is from 1 to infinity so that means that the domain is a set of integers okay so we can we have alternative expression sequence can be written either in the form a n is equals to n or or just this okay so where this n is just a sequence of na natural numbers n is a sequence of natural numbers so those are the ways in which we can uh, denote our sequence Okay, so so one other thing that is important is uh, finding terms terms of a sequence. Okay. So suppose we've been given a function um, and we could be asked to find maybe the first three terms or the first five terms or just depending on the question. So if a n is equals to n, okay. Find the first five terms of the sequence. We know n begins from 1, so that means a1 is equals to 1, a2 is equals to 2, a3 is equals to 3, a4 is equals to 4, and a5 is equals to 5. Okay, so a5 is equal to 5. 
So that means the terms. So that means we have given the, the first five terms of this sequence. So we can have different uh, terms, I mean different uh, given sequences. An exercise would be to find this, an is equal to 7 plus n squared over 10 minus n. So here you can find a1. So uh, find the first five terms of this sequence. Okay, so in, you can replace A1 up to A5 and we're going to find the terms for the sequence. Okay, so move on to the next thing. So when you have been given a formula, you can find the terms of a sequence. So the next thing that we're going to do is find in the formula given the sequence. Finding explicit formulas for sequences. So, uh, find the explicit formula where you are given terms. One, two. Okay, so this is just a sequence where you have ones. So here, the formula oh, is just that A1 is 1. And the N... N goes starts from one. Okay, so we have those. We have uh, that as our explicit formula. Let's have the next one. Where well, we're given three, four, five, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, our n begins from 1. So for us to have 3 as the first term, that means we have n plus 2. Okay. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. Then 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 2, 5. And so on. So we have for all n greater or equal to 1. Okay. So we can go on to find uh, from examples in the module please follow them to find uh, explicit formulas for any given terms okay so we move now to the next thing and that's the limit of a sequence So we have that a sequence a n okay so the limit of a sequence a n is just denoted by L and it's written as L I mean limit as n goes to infinity of a a okay so this is how we denote the limit of a sequence okay so after discovering or finding out how to display the limit 
We are also interested in the convergence of a sequence. Okay, so if the limit, if the limit is finite, it's a finite number, then the limit, then the, then the sequence is said to converge. If L is a finite number, that means it's a number that exists like a 0, 1, 2, 3, or even half, whatever number that you know. Okay, so that is finite. So if you if L is a finite number, then the limit exists. I mean then the sequence converges. Okay, so if it doesn't exist, that means if you have infinite as your limit, then the limit then the sequence diverges. Okay. So if it's not finite, if it's not finite, then it will diverge. What do we mean when we say it's not finite? That means the limit is the limit is infinity or minus infinity. In such a case, then the then the sequence diverges. Okay, so now move to properties. Okay, so uh, you go through this properties but uh, maybe some of them that I can highlight here is that the limit of uh, a constant is just that constant a limit of 2 will be 2 limit the limit of a constant multiplied by a sequence is just that constant multiplied by the limit of the sequence okay so you can go on and uh, explore those properties of limits from the module so next we have a theorem it's known as the squeezed the squeezed theorem for sequences okay so this is a very nice theorem it just says that if you have uh, sequences such that B BN is greater than a n but less than C n okay And and the limit as n goes to infinity of a n is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of c n, and this limit is L. Then we have that. Then the limit of Bn will also be L. So we have a Bn that is between An and Cn. And you also have the limit of An and Cn, which is just the same value. Then we, go, we conclude that the limit of Bn, the, the, the sequence... The sequence that is in between those other sequences will also be L. Okay, so that is the squeezed theorem. Then we also have another theorem. 
which says that the limit of the modulus, the absolute value of a n, if the limit of the absolute value of a n is zero, then the limit of the sequence a n is also zero. Okay, so that is the that is the theorem that we've been given. Okay, so we have an example. Let's have an example. A n. Okay, in our example, a n is equal to minus 1 dot over n. Then let's check. Uh, we want to see, to find the limit as n goes to infinity of a n. Okay, but we know that if the absolute value goes to zero then a n will go to zero according to the previous theorem so let's check the absolute value the limit of the absolute value so we have that we now replace okay so we know the absolute value of minus 1 to the power n is just 1. So this gives us limit 1 over n. Okay, this limit as n goes to infinity, we know it's 0. So the absolute value, the limit of the absolute value of a n is 0. So that means limit n goes to infinity of just this limit of... Um, a n is equal to zero. Okay. So that is how we use that theorem to determine the com the limit of A n. Okay. So we have uh, some examples from the module where well, we use these theorems and the squeezed theorem I think which are easy to to follow up okay